Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I appreciate you coming over and tuning in. Today I'm going to be showing off some of my finds from my last beach adventure. Some of the treasures that I found. Let's see what we got in here. I'm going to dump everything out. I'm going to be very careful because it's got sand all and everything. So I'm going to try to be careful. I got a little towel set out here. But let's get this dumped out onto the towel. All right, I'm going to carefully dump this stuff out here. All kinds of goodies. And I'll separate the uh, shells from everything else. I think that is everything. Even had some there up in the handle right there. I'll set that to the side. All right, let's separate the shells from everything else. See what all we got here, all kinds of goodies. My wife had to pick up a few shells. We have a little rock garden in front of our house. And every time we go to the beach, we grab some shells, whether they're pretty or not. And we throw them in that rock garden. All right. Cool looking shells. I always like these kind right here. Yeah, I've always liked these shells. They're really pretty. That's different. It's more like a really worn pebble. It's like a spaghetti noodle. All right, let's see what we got here. It's another shell. Okay, we got all the shells. Back that up just here. Looks like we have all the shells separated. So let's start with this right here. We found a pair of glasses and they are prescription glasses. <laughs> Those are buried quite a bit down too. So that's pretty neat. And we found a bunch of glasses pieces like sunglasses and stuff like that over the past couple years. There's another piece of one and there's another piece of one. With a piece of metal there. And this was odd, an odd find, a CO2 cartridge. And that's what it looks like to me. If you see any of this stuff and I wrongly identify it, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Because like I said, I'm, I'm just getting started with metal detecting and stuff and finding things. But if I had a nickel for every time I found one of these, <laughs> that would be, uh, I'd be a millionaire. Yeah, lots and lots of bottle caps of all shapes and sizes. There was this one area we were at, and we found a full can of beer and a lot of bottle caps. And there was a lot of bottle caps in that certain area, but we always find bottle caps. I do not know what this is at all. It almost looks like a shark shark tooth, but it's uh it's metal and it's corroded. It looks like I don't know what that is. Of course, this is an earring, and you can see the corrosion right there. So that's not gold. I don't have any markings on it. I do not believe. And this just looks like like a coupler that connects some kind of like a chain or one of those little metal rope looking things. And this appears to be a, a nickel. Let me get you zoomed in on that. That appears to be a nickel. Yep. You can see the little house. I haven't cleaned any of these yet. I don't know if we can get a date on that or not. look and see and it looks to be another earring possibly 
It looks like an earring. It's pretty neat. I was looking for some markings on there. I'm going to get my glasses to kind of help me out a little bit. Yeah, looking for some markings or anything. Don't see anything right off the bat. Of course, we've got a penny. And I'm going to grab my magnifying glass just to help me help see if I can see some dates on that. Penny there. Let's see, I've got a magnifying glass. Let's see if you can see that in there. Yeah. Penny. Let's see if I can see the date. No. I might try to brush that off a little bit to see if I can see a date on it. But as of right now. No date on that one. Let's see what else we got. Uh, not sure what this is. Possibly a nut of sorts or of something that was attached to something else maybe to, to hold something. I don't know. All right, we have another penny here, and you can see this penny right here at the bottom is broken a little bit. And it's got like some, some black right there, almost like it was burned a little bit, but let's get that. Yeah, I'll have to get a brush on that one too, but you can see the color back there, almost like it was burned a little bit. You can see that broken piece right over here on this end here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And I've got a quarter here, and it looks to be... What is that? There we go. 2007. You guys see that? You can really see the details pretty good on the front. back not so much what is that I think it says Washington Washington 1889 maybe oh that's probably just one state state quarter there we go and you can see right there it says Washington 2007 pretty cool Here we have a dime. That's pretty neat. Let's see if we can see a year on that one. Let's see if we can see a year on that one. I'm trying to be careful with these in case they're old, but no, it's it's really worn. I can't make out the date. I'll have to look at it a little bit closer, maybe, and see. 
We got a dime there. It's it's a newer dime for sure. All right. We have another dime. And you can see the date on this one. Looks to be 2022, actually. You gonna see that right in there? Put a little closer here so I can see. Yeah, moving it around in the light. It looks to be 2022, so that's a newer one for sure. Compare the two. No, this one seems to be a little bit older for sure. It feels uh, really smooth on top. Of course, it is worn. Or that one, you can feel the details. Yeah, I might have to get a brush on there. It seems like I see a, a two right on the right-hand side there. You can make out the ear, of course. <laughs> All right, dime. Looks like we have another quarter. And if I'm looking at it right, it looks like 1993. You can I see that there on the bottom? 1993. It's pretty cool. Not gonna make me rich. <laughs> now we got a penny here. And let's see, we could make out the date on that one. It looks like, it's either 2010 or 2019. Let's see if anybody can spot that one. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. We have another penny. And you can see that one's got some corrosion right there. Right at the date, of course. Pretty neat, though. All right. Got a bug in there too, look at that. Got a bug in there. Looks like we have another nickel here. See if y'all can spot the date. Looks like a 2013 to me. Sucks getting older wearing glasses, yep. Huh? Okay, it's either 2018 or 2013. Somebody spot that and let me know in the comments. I want to say the coolest stuff for last. Got another penny. Can't see the date on that one, of course, but it's another penny. It's, it's a modern penny. Nothing special. If you guys spot anything on that that I don't see. Too shabby. Everybody knows what that is. A tent stake, of course. And this is a huge bolt. And it looked like it's been cut off or something, but that's a huge bolt. And that was found at our last beach adventure. All this was same time we had a lot of fun didn't really do any video on it so and you know what this is a, 
I think I used to call them bobby pins. A hairpin. Found that. Nothing special. Have another bolt. Threaded bolt. And it's only like a quarter threaded, so. Pretty cool. Now, one of the last things, of course, that's just a piece of piece of trash metal, probably off of a, a weight, fishing weight or something like that. And this one I found to be really cool. This looks like a, let me get my trusty magnifying glass out here. This looks to be like a really old nail. And it looks like a square head nail to me. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree, but this is a really old nail. You can see the corrosion. That's cool. I thought that was really, really cool. I'd like to learn a, bit, a little bit more about that, but I think that is a really, really old nail. Not sure the time frame. Like I said, I'm not a professional with this stuff. Just getting started. A lot of fun to do. Love it. And I can't tell if there's any real jewels in this. This is my last little find. It looks to be like a heart. And there's jewels on the outside around. I can't see any markings of any sort, so I don't know if that's gold or what. I want to get my pin pointer out <clears throat> to see if it makes any different noise. You can see like a piece of, and you can see right here, like a jewelry weld of sorts, so I don't know if that was like on a ring, or an earring, a necklace, or what. But it says something right here. Okay, further examination. It looks like a teddy bear. I was thinking it was a heart. I was thinking it was a heart like this. But if you turn it this way, it's a teddy bear. And right here on the bottom, I think it says Taos. T-O-U-S. What does that mean? Anybody know what that means? Anybody see anything like that? I can't tell if those are real jewels or not. I might get a wet toothbrush and try to clean that up just a little bit, but not much. Teddy bear. I thought it was a heart. On a pedestal of some sort, but no. A teddy bear. You can see the eyes here on the top. Well, there we go, guys. There's some of my treasure that I found. Let me get you zoomed in there. Well, there you have it. There's some of the last treasure that I found on my last adventure to the beach right before it got cool. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, if you see anything that I didn't see, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. And when it warms up, I'll be doing some more metal detecting. So stick around for those videos later on. If you're new to the channel or haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Ring that bell for future video notifications. I think that'll do it for this one. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out.